Let's get a big round of applause for our first act of the night. Whatever's cool! Yeah. So I went to cooking school and I had to take a class on wine. And we had the wine instructor who's this like super knowledgeable dude and he knew everything about, he like literally wrote the textbook for the, the culinary school's wine program. And he would always do this thing in class where you would taste like a couple of different kinds of wine and then at the end of it, he would go, oh, and this wine would pair really well with blah, 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 blah. And like nine times out of 10, he would always go, and it also goes really well with mafungo, which is just an oddly comically sounding word, right? But what it actually is, is this dish that they make in the Caribbean where they make plantains and then they mash them and they fry them. But he always used to say, Mafungo every single time we had a class. And it became that thing where like you were trying to pick the wine that would go best with Mafungo before the teacher would actually say it. And some of you are laughing a little bit right now because I've already said Mafungo I think three times. But the more you hear the word Mafungo, the more you anticipate it and yet you still laugh. So we would always have a lot of fun waiting for Professor Smith to say Mafungo. Mafungo is right. right. So, uh, and then the other thing about the class that was really fun was that you got to drink in class. Uh, I was not 21 at the time, but the school had a license, so as long as you were within the parameters of the classroom, and you were supposed to swish and spit the wine because it was a wine tasting class, but we would drink like nine different types of wine every day in class. Parents, if you're thinking about a good school to send your kids to, and they're like, I want to go to culinary school, just make sure that they can handle their booze before they go, because it is part of the curriculum. Uh, so we would we would um, do this class, and we would always like taste like five or six different kinds of wine, and then at the end it would always be like a rush to see who could like pour them all into one glass and like drink the rest of it before you had to give it all back at the end of it. Um, it was I was 18, so it was a very mature age for me. Uh, but I did learn a lot. I learned a lot about uh, how to blend seven glasses of red wine together to make one special kind of red wine that pairs excellently well with Mafungo. <laughs> uh, was that good? That was perfect. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. Thank you very much. If you swish and spit it, <laughs> it works really good. Do Don't you, do you actually Wait. spit it though? Anything. Well, do I have to get a, Do I have to still use this one? I feel like I'm punished now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna hold this one and also for use the rest one. of our vacation. Okay. Okay. Mm, I'm just gonna. No more pina coladas. What? <laughs> <laughs> but I like to swish and spit those the best. <laughs> <laughs> they make my head all tingly. <laughs> <laughs> where do I spit it? Just tell me where you want me to spit it and I'll spit it out. You don't have to spit it, Lauren. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! You guys! I need to feel it on the inside. That's where the food goes. <laughs> Country. But this whole island is a blanket. Twenty-one. <laughs> yeah, it's like you know, like when people compare blankets and umbrellas, it like it covers the whole 
little thing. Here, you get to have my first one now. You take this now. Okay. You've earned it. I don't know, guys. I don't know. This feels wrong. I'm at least smelling it before. <laughs> He's gonna spit on the ground. It seems like the best. <laughs> I'm running out of options, so. Supposed to be fun. You guys are trying to do not you. You're great. <laughs> I'm having a good time. I know you are. I can tell. <laughs> you are a fun sucker though. <laughs> yeah. It kind of tastes good. Like it's fruity. I would probably pair that. The end of our in innocence. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Right in here. Oh. Like a rock. I didn't want to oh. say anything. Oh. I'm going to be digesting this for three days. <laughs> this is the hardest my abs have ever felt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah actually. Yeah. That looks good on you. Oh, yeah. 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 Like yeah. You rub it with three fingers wow. right there. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like it's creating a six pack on yes. you. Yeah. You yeah. usually yeah. starch a lot. Oh, yeah. it's totally yeah. Boom. Yeah. How come it makes me doughy? Yeah, I'm getting like five pounds. He gets the abs. <laughs> Look at his calves. Look at him. <laughs> like you're transforming right in front of us. Oh, I hate him. And I don't know if this is just me, but your teeth look white. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you fold? I was. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. I can't hear you gotta you gotta <laughs> 
thank you. You know what I gotta do with that, right? <laughs> no. Spit it out. All right, all right. I should I get it. So, Sally, tell me about your date. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Okay, Cupid was pretty accurate. <laughs> so I'm gonna drop out of nursing school. What? Yeah, I've I've been thinking it over a lot, and I just I can't get down like the other kids there, you know, like. I can't, like, get funky. Your father and I, well, she has to a lot of money for you to go to school, to be a nurse. I know. To help tend to the sick patients or pregnant women. What is this? <laughs> I wanted you to get into. I don't think we have a clear... I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're dancing around what funky means. Dancing around. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, you don't want to go to nursing school because yeah. the kids are too funky. <laughs> yeah, like, they get down, they get groovy, they get funky. nursing school. <laughs> it's really important that you learn the basics of nursing, but also get down from Gary. This red wine uh, undertones, blah blah blah. <laughs> I'm very interested in that cordon yeah. bleu wine. Oh yeah, all right. <laughs> no, I mean like, like, <laughs> like, could you tell me a little more about it? <laughs> Maybe uh, like, yeah, it's like white. Uh, you can see through it. It's crisp. <laughs> 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 I do like my wine translucent. Cordon <laughs> <laughs> yeah. bleu is like, um, it's a chicken dish. So usually, if it's white meat, white wine, blah blah. Okay. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. <coughs> now it works. Okay. Great. Would you like that? Um. Well. What, um. I, I might need a little more time. Do you, do you know anything about the vineyard? The grapes are. Yeah. Where are they <laughs> harvested <laughs> from? Uh, for which wine? The Cordon Bleu wine. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh. I think the same farm that the chicken's from. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Farm grapes? It's a nice farm. It's a lot of land and acres. <laughs> okay. I, oh, let me give you some more time. I just prefer being grapes. And maybe not the port on blue. How, how close uh, is this vineyard to the farm? Yes. Is it the farm? <laughs> Are there pigs in the vineyard running around eating grapes? I, I don't own this farm, but I don't. You don't own the, I, the, the farm. The family, the same family owns the farm, and what's their name? Uh, what's their phone number? <laughs> I don't know. Just Google it. Uh, yeah, McDonald's farm. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Old or new? It's just regular. Oh my regular. goodness. There's only one McDonald that lives in that uh, region. Okay. The region of the farm. <laughs> Announcement. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm not ready for this. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. I'm it's not it. ready. He's gonna like it. It's tight. Oh, well, uh, we'll talk about that in about 30 seconds. All right. <laughs> I hope it's something really good. Oh, 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 I love getting good announcements. Dad? Yes? We bought a uh, chicken and grape farm. <laughs> I told you. He's not going for it. You got to admit that that was very unexpected. <laughs> you, you give him a second. He's gonna look. He's gonna look. Yeah. Just, just watch. You know where we got this from? Your love of ham sandwiches and wine. <laughs> <laughs> we started it. thinking. It's for you. Yeah. Cause you, you know. So. You know, ham doesn't come from chickens, right, son? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> That's why you'll be the brains of the operation. Oh, good! <laughs> but it still has to look good, because, you know, they say every gift is about the meaning, and this one is even more about the meaning because of the part that we messed up. <laughs> Do you think it's a good idea? Just throwing this out there. And I, I don't want to seem like I'm being a curmudgeon, but you think it's a good idea to own a farm when you don't know what ham's made of? <laughs> <laughs> well, we knew there would be a learning curve. <laughs> I mean, we're city dwellers after all. Yeah. So. Yeah. Most city dwellers I know, <laughs> they know ham comes from pigs. He's right. Uh, Dad, I feel you're judging me, and I, I'm not yeah. You know what? I apologize. <laughs> I don't want this to be a negative moment for us. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna hate it. Uh, I, I don't think this has to be a negative moment. No, right? no. As long as you didn't use the money that mom left behind. Absolutely, we did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. Do something that would sustain you to, through your father's old age. Yes. <laughs> Involving ham. That was also part of. Mm. Do something that will sustain your father in his old age that involves ham. Yeah, well, we missed that one. <laughs> but chickens, I mean, right? They, they're the ones with the eggs, right? Chickens are the ham of the bird world. Of the bird world, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're the other, other, other <laughs> point of view. Yeah, the other point <laughs> Thank you. Wow, that Thank was quick you. 
Tip back. Oh, oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Uh, look both ways. Before crossing. Before <laughs> <laughs> you spit out your wine. That's a tip. That's a tip. <laughs> Bye. That was fun. They get a real attitude, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. They look like they can fit in the body buckets. Just yeah. saying. Yeah. Just saying. Where'd they even come from? Are they on campus? <coughs> I don't know. I've never seen them before. It's kind of weird. Mm. If they would run up with the them. body, but like, they yeah. knew what it was. So. Yeah, that's weird that they, they would do that. They do class, but I guess they know. Okay. I thought it'd be heavier. <laughs> It's uh, like PVC or one of those oh, space age materials. Polymers. You're talking about polymers. All right. Keep going. Yeah. Is it like tennis? Like those with the tennis like wall getters, but they got the body and put it on the bucket <laughs> for us? That's him. Like, for you? I mean, I'm just watching. Like, not credit. <laughs> it's comfortable. <laughs> Sue fits in real nice. <laughs> body bucket ideas looking better and better. Oh, they do come and pick you up. Oh. 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 oh! oh! How's this gonna work? Oh. 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 <laughs> They're too fast for me! Oh. This way, this way. Yeah. This way, this way. This is so awkward. Yeah. It'll be easier once you shoot her. Yeah! It's our shit. Yeah. <laughs>